I've been to an awful lot of places like this, a lot of refugee camps in my life. Stop and what I, what I'm never, I'm always surprised by it, is the depth and strength of the human spirit. I mean it sincerely. And it's incredible. It's incredible. See all those little children? Just want to, just want to hug. They just want to say, thanks. I mean, they're, I mean, it's. Uh, it just makes you so damn proud, and they're wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And you know, the Ukrainian people are, uh, each one of those children said something to the effect, say a prayer for my dad, or my grandfather, or my brother. He's back there fighting. And uh, I remember what it's like when you have someone in a war zone. Every morning you get up and you wonder. You just wonder, you pray you don't get that phone call. And. Uh, they're an amazing group of people. What are you going to do? What do you mean? How does this make you think of Putin? I think they eat into some cities like Mariupol. It's got, you know, they've got nothing. Oh, they've got no nothing. Water. I met two people from Mariupol. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's, it's astounding. What were the is commitments this, what with is this, I mean, Ukraine? You, you see this and you're, you know, you're dealing every day with Vladimir Putin. I mean, you, you, look at what he's done to these people. What does it make you think? He's a book. <laughs> Did you make additional commitments? Thank you, guys. Thank you, Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. This is a butcher. That's the next Did you make additional commitments? Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. This is a butcher.